hello friends welcome back again so my dear friends today i am with the another video of the passing strategy series this is for the elements of el electrical engineering or the subject code is b triple e 103 and 203 that is in the first semester third subject and second semester third subject okay probably you are in the second semester now so definitely its code is uh, b triple e 203 over there so uh, let me tell you some important questions which you have to cover in this particular subject so that you can easily pass this if you want to pass this if you want to score also so this video is for you so fear not friends you are in the correct platform over here so my dear friends uh, in the module 4 as i am taking over here it is the passing module if you want to pass it so uh, in the first chapter there is the measuring instruments and next one is the domestic wiring over there so I have taken some mixing questions from both of these uh, particular chapters as video is now mixing the papers first of all as uh, far as the 18 scheme is concerned as far as this electrical subject is concerned so only uh, from the first chapter questions were coming up but this time questions are coming from both the chapters over here so I have taken some important questions over here I have given some importance to the questions uh, it's very important to give the importance important importance of the questions were there okay so uh, with the neat wiring diagram and truth, ta truth table explain two way and three way control of lamp they will definitely ask one among them my dear friends uh, with a neat sketch uh, with the truth table explain two way switch sometimes they, they may give three way control of the lamp over there next one is the working principle of wheatstone bridge okay next one is the principle of kelvin's double bridge it is the new topic which vtu has inserted this time into this uh, particular module over there next one is the working of mega and wooden casing and caping wiring maxwell's bridge for inductance and shrinks uh, bridge for capacitance okay shearing's bridge bridge for capacitance is also a new topic over there so you have to focus on these uh, six topics over there okay so that uh, you will easily get uh, what we call 20 marks over there in this particular subject it is, it is purely based on the theory over here no problematic at all next one is the module 5 my dear friends uh, in which you have to cover what is earthing with a neat diagram expand pipe earthing and palate earthing yeah, as far as 18 scheme is concerned these two questions were definitely over there so one among them they will ask uh, like, like uh, what is earthing with the neat diagram explained pipe earthing sometimes they will give you plate earthing okay these are the important questions from this module uh, uh, in the second uh, second part write short note on miniature circuit breaker that is mcbs you have to focus on you have to make short notes on these mcbs like few uh, fuse is there so you have to focus on this theory concept write down on your a4 sheet and try to sort out the problems okay so it is advantage and disadvantage also you have to focus on next one is the precautions against electric shock this is again an important question in this uh, module over here next one is rccb that is residual current circuit breaker next one is the arc leakage break, uh, break, uh, breaker over there then next one is the two-part electric traffic uh, as this is in mentioned in the syllabus over there uh, then the definition of unit used for the consumption of electric energy so you have to focus on these uh, theory questions so that it will be easy for you people to conquer this module also that is module fifth as you already know in the video examination problems are somewhat uh, unexpected over there so students mostly focus on the theory part so you just go through these theory concepts you will easily get marks uh, at least 15 marks from this particular module five then module first comes up my dear friends in which you have to deal with the dc circuits and electromagnetism as it is the 12th basic concept over there you may already aware of the ohm's law and kirchhoff's law also so most probable question will be there like state and explain ohm's law and what are its limitations next one is the state and explain kirchhoff's laws very simple ones current law and voltage law over there and try some problems also these are very easier ones okay next one is the state and explain lenses law this is the additional topic they have added into this particular module this time and laws of electromagnetic induction and also one derivation part is there that is uh, expression for the energy stored in the inductor and some uh, basic problems you have to try in this particular module you will easily get 20 marks in this particular module over here okay next one uh, comes up model third 
three phase AC circuits. This is a uh, little bit tough uh, module, I can say that, but uh, you have to focus on some theory concepts also. Okay, with a circuit and phasor diagram, show that two watt meters are sufficient to measure three phase power. Okay, this is most important question in this module third. Uh, with a circuit and phasor diagram show that two watt meters are sufficient to measure three phase power okay next one is the uh, you have to focus on ponder on necessity and advantages of three phase system next one is the in a three phase star connection find the relationship between line and phase values of current and voltage is also derived equation for three phase power and try some also simple problems over there okay no need to go for tougher ones so at least try some basic problems in this module third okay then module second comes up in the module second it uh, its chapter name is the single phase ac circuits uh, show that the power consumed in a pure capacitance uh, circuit is zero uh, show that power consumed in a pure capacitive circuit is zero with the help of voltage current and power waveforms okay you have to draw some gra graphs over there and you have to show that power consumed in a pure capacitive circuit is zero okay show that voltage and current in pure resistive circuit is in phase with each other also derive the equation for the power consumed so these are the two derivations which are the most important ones it will definitely carry seven marks uh, over there then some definitions are there you have to go through like rms value average value form factor peak factor and also expressions also for these particular uh, values over there that is rms value write down its expression and average value form factor write down its expression also peak factor like that okay and try some numericals also in this particular subject if uh, you have to pass this subject then go through the uh, module first third and uh, what i have discussed first third and four uh, sorry fourth and fifth and this uh, first one okay some theory concepts are there you will easily pass this uh, subject by theory only but uh, just don't uh, leave uh, these problems also which are simpler ones it will definitely help you people to enhance uh, the marking uh, marks over there so that it will be easy for you people to avoid backlog in this particular subject most of the students are struggling with this subject my dear friends since uh, 2015 scheme students are also writing the subject uh, this uh, particular electrical engineering so i hope uh, this much content is enough for uh, passing this subject so refer it definitely you will get uh, uh, i cannot say 90 80 but 75 or 70 will definitely cover with this portion okay so thanks for watching my video